Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you the basics of the Microsoft Paint program. This can typically be found in the Windows Accessories folder of your computer, and once you launch the program or open it up, you're looking at an untitled canvas in Paint. This canvas is free for you to do anything you want with it, make new images or edit existing ones. There are lots of options here with the brushes. There's a brush, two types of calligraphy brushes, an airbrush, a natural pencil, a marker, a crayon, an oil brush, and a watercolor brush. Each of these brushes mimics what that medium looks like in real life. For example, a crayon, if I choose that, and let's use the color purple looks like the stroke of a crayon, while a marker in pink looks a little bit different. One of the nice things that I like to do with paint is add text because it's very difficult sometimes to use your mouse to draw letters so they form text. However, I'm going to click on the A icon up here to insert text into the picture. Once I get the cursor, like in Microsoft Word, I can click somewhere on my canvas and it opens up a text box. Now I'm free to type. I can change the font of this text. Currently it's on A.R. Herman. If I highlight the text while the text box is still active and click the drop down next to the font family name, I have almost all the options that Microsoft Office gives me for Word, PowerPoint, Excel. I can use a fun font called Gigi. I can change the color of this font. Let's make it green. I can make it bold and underline it. I can also change the size of the font. It's currently at 16, but I want to make it 24. Now, some of the text is lost in this box, so I need to hover over the little square at the corner until I get this double arrow button. Now I can click and make the text box frame the text I wrote. Back on the Home tab, let's explore some more of the options Paint offers. It is possible to draw your own preset shapes. If you click the More tab here under Shape, I can do a lightning bolt, a heart, a hexagon, a rounded rectangle, and various arrows and other shapes. I can even choose the six-pointed or five-pointed star. Once I have my shape chosen, I can automatically go in and make sure that it is going to be yellow or whatever color I want my star. On the canvas, I now see a little icon of four lines going out in four different directions. I click and drag down until the star is the size I want it. I release and there's my star. It is possible to fill this shape with the color chosen by clicking on the fill with color little paint can here and clicking inside the shape. This is a much faster and more efficient way to fill in preset shapes without having to use a brush and do it by hand. One of the really nice things about Microsoft Paint is that it lets you save the work on a canvas to go back to it later. If I click on the File tab and go to Open or Open Recent Pictures, this is automatically available, and I click on the image title, My Basket Image, Paint opens up the work I've done on this picture. Now, I have lines in here that I want to show you how to do. If I go into the shapes and choose line, I get that same little four line icon that I can click in one point and drag down to make a line of the length I want. Now I can change the size of the line, the width of it actually, 
by clicking on size and going down until it matches the others. Now let's add some text to identify the apple as being part of the fruit food group. I click on the A, click into the pink basket where I want my text, make sure that it matches in font. I used Herman last time and let's take the size down just a little bit. I can always change it later. Let's do 20, no underline or bold, and I type the word fruits. Now it is much bigger than my other words, so I need to highlight and start changing the font again. 16 looks fine. And now I click out of my image to close that text box. And there's my completed My Basket image. Now I want to make sure that I save this as a JPEG file so I can use it in other programs. To save an image, I click on the file icon again. I go down to Save As. And I get several options. I want to make sure that I choose JPEG Picture. This is one of the most common picture formats for use in different programs and internet web applications. Then it opens up the flash drive where I had the image saved. And I can go in and rename it version 2 so I don't lose the work I had originally and click Save. So now I can go in and just close the image by clicking the red X because I know that my latest version is saved since it says My Basket version 2.